Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday and happy November 1st. Today's the first day of a new month. For some of us, it's going to be a new start, a new change, a new habit to work on. Whatever it is, enjoy this month. So many fun things are going on this time of year. We're starting to look toward Thanksgiving and being thankful. And if your family sits down to have a meal every night, go ahead and start talking about the things you're thankful for now. You don't have to wait till Thanksgiving Day to have those conversations. So go ahead tonight at dinner, go around the table quickly when you sit down and talk about what you're thankful for. I'm thankful for my family, for my children. I'm thankful for the new addition to our family this year. We gained a daughter-in-law. I'm thankful that my kids are all doing well and happy and healthy. So there are lots of things I'm thankful for. So let's start thinking about that and verbalizing it with our families. Write it down in a journal. Keep a little notebook. Um, one year when my kids were little, I cut out construction paper leaves. Each day during school time, we practiced our handwriting and we wrote out what we were thankful for. Then at our evening meal, when my husband was home, we would read them. And then we stuck them up on the wall using painter's tape so it wouldn't ruin my wall. And I had a big construction tree um, trunk going up my wall and we stuck those leaves up each day. So it was a lot of fun. It was hands-on and it really started working on turning our hearts toward being thankful. So if you haven't really done a thankful thing with your kids, go ahead and start today. If there are people that you need to thank, write some thank you notes. That's one of those things that we've gotten away from in this digital society. Not many people write out a handwritten thank you note. If you've not taught your children to do that, this is an excellent time to start working on it. So let's work on the habit of being thankful. And that's a little bit different than our regular habits that we do. And I am gonna talk about those today, guys, but I really want us to focus on thankfulness. Good morning, Carol, great to see you. Today's habit number eight out of the 12 habits for a happy and healthy home is a load of laundry a day. Not sure if you can hear it, but in the laundry room behind me, I've got a load in the washer and a load in the dryer. And I've already folded a load because I got up this morning and there was a magical load of laundry dried and ready to be folded by one of the boys. So the ones who work have a much shorter amount of time at home. And so after their evening shower, they will put on a load of laundry and they put it in the dryer before they go to bed. So when I get up first thing in the morning, I'm usually folding that load of laundry for them so I can get my stuff going and it's not holding up the process. So I have taught them how to do laundry and they're learning to work the system. They're learning to get their stuff done and not tying up my machine all weekend. So at least they're getting it done during the week and I'm getting my stuff done and not falling behind. But do that load of laundry every day. It keeps you from falling behind and living with Mount Washmore in your house but follow through with all five steps. You need to sort it, wash it, dry it, fold it or hang it up, and then step number five is where we get hung up, put it away. Put your hanging clothes in the closet, put your folded clothes in the drawers, don't leave out of baskets. It's gonna help the overall look of your house. Good morning, Latia. She said that, um, is, is, her, is it Michaela's birthday today? Tell her I said happy birthday and hope she has a great day today. And she's got some notes in her desk, so they're going to work on a thank you note. So awesome. Really work at teaching your kids this because they're growing up in this digital society and they're not spending the time developing some of these skills that we developed as children because everybody texts or they send an instant message or they Snapchat, whatever but they don't sit down and write thank you notes very often. So let's work on that. The other thing for today for getting rid of clutter, it's tossing paper and magazines day. It's Thursday. This is the day I'm gonna get rid of paper. I'm going to go through the refrigerator, toss the science experiments and take care of all that. So you guys spend just five minutes on this one. It's not a big home blessing to do. 
and you can do it really, really fast and make a difference if you're consistent. Good morning, Danielle. Great to see you. And Latia said her daughter's birthday was last Saturday. So I hope she had a fun time. And um, I love the idea of you working with her today on that thank you note. Thursday. So we are up to Thursday. I looked at the holiday mission this morning. It's errand day. Not everybody does errands on Thursday. So take this one with a grain of salt, whatever your errand day is. Start looking at those holiday food items you need to pick up. I noticed in the store last weekend, they've already got displays set up. So if you're gonna do some special baking for Thanksgiving or even Christmas, start getting those baking items now a little at a time. It's not gonna add that much to your weekly food budget, but it's gonna keep you from having that really big bill the week of Thanksgiving. Because I know some of you wait till Thanksgiving week and then you have a huge grocery bill and you gotta work that into the budget. So spend a little bit extra each week now. Buy those ingredients that aren't gonna spoil. A lot of the baking items you use don't spoil. They do have expiration dates. You generally, they have a pretty good shelf life. So put some of that down for your errand day and pick them up while you're out and about. Get it over with and think ahead. Then if there are things you can go ahead and prepare ahead of time before that week, then you work that into your schedule. Anything you can do to help with your budget and your stress level before the holidays is going to make it a better holiday for you. So keep working at that. And that leads into our new habit for November. Does anybody know what our habit of the month is for November? It's menu planning. And I know some of you struggle with that one. I get email messages and I get instant messages a lot about menu planning. Keep it simple. Someone asked me if I would post my weekly menu instead of just posting it once a day for the daily menu, if I would give everybody like the whole week. So I'm gonna work on figuring out where to integrate that into what I'm already doing. But you know, I have my weekly menu plan done. It's back here behind me. See, it's sitting there on that little stand. Tonight's chicken. It's quick and easy. I've asked the boys to go ahead and bring it down so it can start thawing. And we're gonna do some grilled chicken tonight. Got that planned out tomorrow I grocery shop, so I'll do something. I'll pick up a rotisserie chicken, pick up something to go, whatever. Make it work for you, but if you don't have the habit established of menu planning, sit down and spend five minutes on it. If you don't get a whole week done in five minutes, it's okay. Another day, spend another few minutes. You'll get the rhythm to it and you'll start figuring out the things that are easy to fix, the things that you wanna take the time to fix and work those into your daily schedule. When I'm menu planning, one thing I do is look at next week's calendar. What days do I have meetings? What days do we have events in the evenings? I make sure I keep simple things for those days and more complicated meals for the days that I'm home more. So that's a good way to menu plan by using that um, calendar. So it helps you. So I want all of you to have fun today. If you go do your errands, stay safe out there. I think we're gonna get a little rain here later in North Carolina. So maybe I'll get a few things done around the house and enjoy a rainy afternoon at home. Enjoy your day guys and I'll see you tomorrow morning. Probably I'll do a little bit better with my timing. It'll be around 10 o'clock or so. See you guys then.